In this video, I'm going to go over an update in Canva and how to add a white outline if you're going to use that as part of your thumbnail. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's um, been a while and um, I just wanted to quickly run through an update in Canva that allows you to add a white outline to your background, which um, is a quicker and faster way to actually do that um, compared to the steps that um, I showed you in a video I did a few months back. And just to illustrate how to do this, I'm just gonna add a quick background to my template that will apply itself that way. And now I'm gonna just take a photo that I uploaded um, to my Canva account. And I'm gonna go into my uploads. And I have this picture of this young lady here. And this is what we'll be using to add a white outline. So the first things first, um, you can adjust it to however you want it. Um, I'm just gonna put it right in the middle here. And then that's the first step. The next step is to um, make sure the image you want to um, add the outline to is selected. And once that is selected, you click on effect. Um, the one that says shadows is the one we need, where it says you're gonna add a shadow around your image. And so when you click on shadows, um, if you haven't already connected this um, to your account, it will ask you to connect. So if you just go ahead and do connect, it will bring up the, the features on the shadows. And the one that we need to use is called, is the very first one called Glow. So when we click on Glow, um, immediately you can see there's a slight glow around, like a silhouette around our image. So to adjust this to our own preference, if you click on that, that will bring up its um, settings. The first thing we need to do is to change the color to white. And then we're gonna put the blur down to um, zero. And then the next thing we need to do is to bring the transparency to a hundred. And now we're already getting a nice white outline slash silhouette effect that we're looking for to use. And now the last part is to change the size of the white outline and you can put that as much as you want. I'm gonna leave this one on 12, 40 or 14. And there you have it. One thing to note is that once you click on apply, the effect that you've just um, made is permanently on that image. You can't go back to, on, um, to um, change it, um, as in go back into the effects and then do um, changes, you can't do that. Um, the only way you can do that is to click on undo and undo and all that, you know, just to make sure that you're happy with what you've done. Um, so um, the other thing you can do as well is, um, which I kind of like, um, is you can actually go back and add as many outlines as you want. So if you, if you click on the image again and click on effects, click on glow again, and as you can see it's already applied that um, silhouette to it. You can go back in there, change the color to, I don't know, pink, and um, get the blur down to zero again, if you want to, or if you want to keep the blur there, um, put the blur there, the transparency to 100, you can inc increase the slide slightly, and you know, again, click on apply. And that's it really, there's nothing else to it. Um, this is a, a bit more um, effective in my opinion, and um, I hope it's helped you. And um, I will be coming up with some more tutorials in Canva um, as per the updates which they've just made to the overall platform. And hopefully you find some more value in that. And until next time, take care and God bless.